This is a very badly made model of an RBMK-1000 nuclear reactor. And today I'm going to show you ba some basics about how nuclear reactors work. So let's start off with the reactor core. That's the most important part of the nuclear reactor. So the reactor core houses the uranium fuel, which goes through a process called fission. Many of you probably already know that because the process of fission breaks down, breaks down atoms into two smaller one, two smaller atoms. And that, in turn, releases heat and radiation. The heat heats up the water that is inside of this uh, this reactor core, and it goes into through pipes into this drum this little drum known as the drum separator. The drum separator will separate the hot water and the steam. The hot water, in turn, will go down this down this other pipe into this pump main main circulation pump and get pumped back into the nuclear reactor to get reheated. And the steam that if it gets separated will go through this pipe and go into the generator. So inside of the generator there's a turbine. The high pressure hot steam will will hit on that turbine and make the turbine spin and that that and that torsion energy is converted into the electrical energy using a generator. Next to the main generator there is an emergency diesel generator that is put in that will be started up if anything goes wrong with the main reactor and it, and the main reactor have to be shut down in an emergency so what happened at chernobyl is basically uh this they tried to use the the momentum from the gen from the main generator to insert the control rods and use this time to start the diesel generator. Well, that that obviously didn't work and the reactor blew up. It blew this upper uh, biological shield, which shields the radiation. It It's blown off and, and it got the roof off and radiation is released everywhere. And then it and then this this thing just landed on its side back into the reactor pit in reactor core, which is now a pit. So after the power generation process is complete, the water goes through this other pipe and goes down into the cooling assembly. And, the, and after the water is cooled, it goes into this pump, which is pumped back into the reactor core. Now, the RBMK reactors have a few flaws, and one of them being that it's, it, is it is certified to be refueled while it's running. So that is a very big safety hazard. If something were to went wrong in this process, well, my upper biological shield is gonna is gonna go Well you get the idea of that. Anyways, that's basically it for nuclear reactors. I mean the basics basically. This is a very badly made nuclear reactor. It's very it's heavily oversimplified and this should only be used as a reference. Alright. Well, basically that's it.